So, did your mom tell you what I'm doing? Yes. Uh, do you have any stories that you would want to be a movie? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> I could, can't even, I don't even know what happened yes, yesterday. Hmm. A movie with no words. <sighs> No! Um, you can show the word start in a box, and then, and then you can make an equal sign, and then a box. Wait, the start would be orange. I mean, I mean, I'm green. The box would be green, and the start would be white. I can tell you a little story. Um, Ace of Bear and Toby Mouse story. Um, it's an Ace of Bear and a Toby who's a mouse. Okay, so we'll have someone pretend to be a bear mm -hmm. and pretend to be a mouse. Mm -hmm. Like somebody small and somebody big. There was an Ace of Bear who lived in the middle, um, I mean in the woods, and there was a Toby Mouse who lived in the stone wall with his six brothers and seven, six sisters. Um, and one day, the um, big, enormous, great ace of air um, decided, told to the little Toby Mouse, I, I think we should go to the swimming um, pool. The Toby Mouse agreed. Only the swimming pool won't be real. It will just, like, kind of be a big circle of cardboard that you painted blue so that, um, um, and then black waves. Oh, why not a real swimming pool? Um, because then their costumes would get all wet. But they could do that. They went to the um pool, and the Toby Mouse put his feet in, and the Ace of Bear jumped right in. I would, I would, I would do all this. I would do sound effects too. <laughs> when they dived in and. And and go wee when they were swizzling in the water, and go Oop, when they went underwater. The t he, um he carried the Toby Mouse around in the pool. Then he told the Toby Mouse to hold his breath and close his eyes. And he dunked him underwater, and then he came back up. And. He he swam with the Toby Mouse, with the Toby Mouse holding onto his fur on the on his back, and he jumped on the on off of the diving board into the pool um, when the Toby Mouse was ready. And it, they had a very very fun time. The, the, then it was time to go home, and they were like. I wish we could come back again. No, why shouldn't we have, why can't we have another time here? Because I thought, but the swimming pool is closing up for the whole winter. Okay, we can have it next spring. And, and they went home, the end. And the end would be written in orange, and then the whole box would be white. The point is this story is you don't really want to go when something's closing because then you'll have to wait to go back there. Yeah. I'm about to graduate in three weeks and it sort of feels like my school is closing for me, you know? Yeah. Um, if, like, something feels like you're, you're closing, you, sh you should just say, okay. I'm fine. I usually let it go. I just think think of something that I really like to do and just you just think of something else until the the nervous has gone out of you. I let that thing disappear out of my head, out of my ears, out of my mouth. It's just go like I'm scared of this thing. When the scared feeling comes into you, the scared is scared of things you like.
So um, I was scared of a monster, and I thought of pizza and juice and some and some meringues and a cookie, chocolate chip cookie. I mean oatmeal cookie. <laughs> and then I ate it all up and some milk. And the cookie was shaped like a piano, a keyboard, I mean. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's good advice. That's why I just need to think of things I like when I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Asa Bear and Toby Mouse going to do when the pool closes? They have so much t that they can do in winter. There are stories about winter, there are stories about um, other th things. I, I have heard they once even had a sleepover without telling their moms. So it's a happy ending. Mm-hmm. It is. Are you hungry? Yes! For cookies and red sauce and pizza. Pizza. Gobble, gobble, gobble.